Hello and welcome. My name is Tony and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for chair yoga. So the hardest thing about chair yoga is making time and sitting down and getting it started. So you've already done the hardest thing. Everything else from now on is easy compared to that. Making sure you're on a chair that's stable and comfortable for you and that your feet can be rooted deeply on the floor. If the chair is very deep, you may want to shuffle forward a little bit so the feet are firmly planted. Rooting down through those feet at a comfortable distance for you. And feel free to pick up the toes and spread them wide, even the balls of the feet. You can give those ankles a little wiggle if you like. And then we lay the balls of the feet down if they're not already there and then soften the toes. Take your awareness down to the soles of your feet, whether you're wearing shoes, socks, or whether you've got bare feet. And notice the surface underneath your feet. Imagine, sense, and feel into the textures, the pressure. You might even notice parts of your feet that are not supported here, like the arches of your feet, or in between the toes. Push down evenly through the feet, left and right, as best as you can, and just build up a little pressure into the legs. So much so that maybe the tops of your thighs start to firm up, you start to awaken the muscles. You might even notice that that creeps up through the belly, maybe letting you sit just a little bit taller. And then just as slowly allow that pressure to ebb away. And then let the legs relax deeply into that support as they are held. Mm -hmm. Taking your awareness up through your legs to where your seat meets the chair. We'll do the same a little left to right, making sure that your pelvis is as even as feels comfortable for you. A great way to sit with a neutral pelvis is neither to sit with the shoulders forward or back of the hips, but stacked on top as best as you can. And if you wiggle from side to side, depending on the chair you're on, you might notice those two bony, bonier bits underneath you. That's the base of the pelvis. So we even that up left to right. And then with this connection down, so everything from the pelvis down, relaxes and releases down into the support of the chair and the earth. And then from there, as if someone came and zipped you up right from the pelvic floor all the way up through the vertebrae, lifting the heart a little, crown of the head reaches up towards the sky as if you're being held by a thread from the crown of your head. So we get just a little bit taller drawing the head back over the heart space, rolling the shoulders back and down a couple of times, maybe that's the first time today, and then settling the shoulders down and away from the ears and broadening across the collarbones or drawing the shoulder blades just gently together. This way we have this openness in the chest, but no forcing, no straining here. So we've readjusted our posture just a little. Notice how this feels, and when you're ready, take a breath in. Exhale, soften the posture so it feels sustainable. And you can take a few breaths, just making little or big adjustments. Mm -hmm. And then let the breath settle. And notice this. With this mindful posture, consider lowering or softening or even closing your eyes. And then ask yourself the question inside, how am I doing in this moment?
notice what arises, if anything at all, and just be open to it, no judging, no wanting it to be different. And then take your awareness right up into your mind, your busy, busy mind. And then ask, what's on my mind at the moment? And maybe it's things that have already happened. Maybe it's things that are going to happen. Just be aware, not needing to fix anything or adjust it. Drop your awareness from your mind right into your heart space or another place where you would, when you, you would, drop your awareness from your mind right down into the place that you would consider or connect with your emotions. For some of us, that might be the heart space or a completely different place altogether. Or maybe it's not even a location in your body. Notice, how am I feeling in this moment? What emotions are present? And those emotions may be connected to the thoughts. You don't have to connect the dots. And we don't need to fix or change anything, just be aware. And then spread your awareness into your whole body, from the soles of your feet all the way to the crown of your head, to your fingertips, inside and outside body, back body, front body, left and right. And notice, how is my body feeling in this moment? Stay with sensations rather than stories. You might be able to detect your energy level as a sensation or a, in a knowing. Or you might notice certain sensations in different parts of your body. But try to leave the stories as why that is to one side. Our awareness normally goes to the significant or familiar sensations. But then also expand your awareness into places you don't normally pay attention to. So if your right hip is always very loud, consider how does my left hip feel today? So we start to balance out our awareness of our body. Not only placing our awareness in the places of tightness or discomfort, So we notice a more balanced awareness. And then if there's any tension anywhere in your body that any movement or a few breaths can dispel a little, please take the time to do that as best as you can. Relaxing and releasing. And then we start to notice our breath coming in and out of our body, in and out. All the way in and all the way out, starting to follow that breath. And notice how the breath and the body move together. The inhale expanding and the exhale softening and releasing. Consider breathing in and out through your nose if you're not already. And if that's not comfortable for you, then an easy breath for you. Starting to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Mm -hmm. 
we start to smooth that breath out as best as we can, all the way into the top, all the way down to the bottom, smoothing, making it as seamless as possible as it comes and goes. And if there are any places in the breath that feel jumpy or jagged, know that that's normal. That is why we're starting to regulate it. And it takes practice, it takes time. And sometimes when the outside world becomes a little tumultuous, then our breathing responds to that. So don't be surprised if it's not what you expect, trying to leave expectations to one side and working simply with what is here, which is why we do our check-in. So we have this smooth, steady breath, the smoother, steadier breath than we had. And then let go of any forcing, any straining, even if the breath gets a little smaller. We root down, feet in seat to rise from there. Once again, settling the shoulders and broadening the collarbones. And we have this breath that we are getting comfortable and familiar with, that we can come back to at any time. Longer, steadier, softer breaths in and out. And we'll take that breath and we'll anchor it into our movement. This is the inhale and the exhale. Let's slide our gaze over towards the right side, inhaling through center and sliding it over to the left, keeping the collarbones broad, allowing the breath to guide the movement, inhaling forward, exhaling as you twist. And again, mirroring the breath, so longer, smoother movements. And the next time the chin comes over towards the right, let's leave it there. Settle the breath. This is now the inhale on the exhale. Let's dip the chin down towards the earth and up the other side. And then on an exhale, dipping it down and then up again as if you're creating a smile with the tip of your nose in the air. Notice sensations. Notice where you feel this in your body. Trying to stay away from forcing, just like when we allowed the breath to get softer, allow the movement to get a little softer too. Mm -hmm. Next time that chin comes down towards the chest, We'll leave it there, draw the shoulders back in space just a little, and feel into the back of the neck, upper shoulders, upper back, and breathing that steady breath in and out. And then when you feel ready, we'll draw the crown of the head all the way up, allowing those shoulders to dangle down. Once again, collarbones are broad. On the inhale, let's lift the right ear up. Coming back through center and then the left ear lifts. So finding space from one side of the neck to the other with those arms dangled down. Try and keep the head above the heart space so we're neither leaning forward or back. Shoulders over hips as best as we can. Breathing steadily and fluidly for another two either side. Mm -hmm. Once again, no forcing, no straining, trying to keep in that place that it feels soft where the body can open up. And the next time we come back through center, We'll leave the arms dangled there. On the inhale, let's draw the shoulders forward and up towards the ears, and then exhaling back and down, rolling through the shoulders. And you can keep those arms dangled down, or if it feels better for you to get the elbows involved and lift them a little, it can. There's no wrong way to do any of this. And you might notice there are some clunky areas as we circle the shoulders
And then more or less on your next exhale, let's pause and take that round in the opposite direction. You might notice that this direction feels a little different. Notice sensations in your body. Notice what arises. If you needed to make any adjustments, do a little less, then please go ahead. And let's take two more of those. And then at the end of one of your next exhales, we'll take those hands into a tight or soft fist, fing thumbs over the fingers, and we'll rotate through the wrists. Nice and slow. And then going around in the opposite direction. Done. And then releasing those fingers, giving those fingers a little bit of a wiggle. And then with those arms dangled down, sitting back with the shoulder blades in the base of the skull as if you're resting on an imaginary wall. Steady the breath. This is the inhale. On the exhale, let's dip those fingers down as we lift up through the left shoulder. Inhaling up through center and dangling those left fingertips, lifting up through the right shoulder, keeping those shoulders soft. And as you lift through the higher shoulder, notice the length one side to the other, getting into that lateral flexion of the spine. Option to stay here. Option as you dip down to one side, the opposite arm can lift. Allow the joints to be easy, flow with the breath, the inhale of course lifts. Anchor down through the pelvis, both sides so you're not lifting one hip up as you tip to the opposite side. Mm -hmm. Reaching with those top fingers. And let's take one more, either side, more or less. Rest if you want to. Opening up through the side body. And we'll come all the way back through center. Hands now resting on top of the legs or the arms of the chair. If you're sitting into the back of your chair, you may want to come away from the back of the chair, just so we get a little bit of space as we come down through the flexion an extension of the spine. Rooting down through the feet and seat to rise from there. On the inhale, the heart expands forward as we arch the back, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other, hands drift towards the pelvis. On the exhale, sliding the fingers towards or on the knees as you push the back of the ribs towards the back of the chair. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm-hmm. So the extension of the spine is that deep arch and the flexion of the spine is curling in through the belly so we push the back of the body towards the back of the chair. You can of course get into the cervical spine by lifting the chin but lengthening through the neck, back of the neck so it's not just hinging and then drawing the chin down and in on that exhale. Mm -hmm. If this is enough for you, then stay. If you want to add on, let's sweep the arms wide. That's the inhale. Exhale. Reach the fingertips in front of you. Elbows bent towards, towards straight and touch fingertips. Inhaling like that opening of the wingspan. The arms can be down or up towards shoulder height. Exhaling, coming towards each other. Again, low or high, it does not matter. You might notice that one arm has a very different range of motion from the other. Keep the focus through the spine. And let's take three more. Mm -hmm. Keep that breath longer, steadier, and smoother, just like the movements in your body. 
Off to this last exhale. Let's come all the way back through center. Any intuitive movements in your body to release tension, go ahead. And then we're gonna take those hands, bend through the elbows, take the hands in front of you as if they were placed on a wall right in front of you. We get a little bit more length here. So on an inhale, we're gonna reach up with that right hand as if you're sliding it up the wall any height. Now root down through the right hip as you reach with the right fingertips, any height, and then drag that hand down the wall. And then we go to the left, inhaling, we slide it up. Go to a height that feels good for you, reaching with the fingertips either towards a straight arm or bent elbow, it does not matter how high you reach. But what we want is the control of the movement and the anchoring of the pelvis so we get the length through the body and the steadiness of moving through the arms and that reach. Mm -hmm. You can stay here going from side to side or taking both hands up together. Dragging them down. Mm -hmm. So three more of these. Noticing how that feels in your shoulders, on those exhales, drawing the elbows in towards the ribs. Mm -hmm. Last one here. Nicely done. And then Allowing those hands down, giving your arms a little wiggle, and back to support. Big breath in, exhaling it out nice and slow. Nicely done. We root down to rise, and we're gonna take that right elbow in towards the rib cage, bending at the elbow, and taking that right hand into a soft or tighter fist, your choice. Collarbones broad here. The inhale is drawing that right arm back in space. So maybe it comes to the side of you, maybe you have the range of motion to bring the elbow back a little more, your choice. But keeping that right hip pinned on the exhale, we're taking that soft fist over towards the left. Now that left hand can dangle or come to where it's supporting, and then we're opening it up to the right side. That's the inhale, exhale, we're twisting. Now on that twist, you can take that fist towards the front left, that's less of a twist here, over towards the side, or maybe some of you with that right hip anchored can even get a little bit further towards the back left. Take the gaze with you if you want, or keep that inner gaze. If you glance over that left shoulder on the twist, getting it into the cervical spine, of course, Mm -hmm. Last one here, and then we're going to take this across the body and up towards the top left. So where the ceiling meets the wall, more or less, depending on the room you're in, keep that breath flowing. And now we're going to go across the body and down as if we're um, reaching where the floor comes across the body down past that left hip, keeping that right hip anchored. Nicely done. And then we're going to do three of three. So now going to ward shoulder height, and then we're gonna go up and across and down. Mm -hmm. Getting into very different parts of that back right side, middle, top, and bottom, don't forget about drawing that right shoulder back in space. Go at your own pace, more or less. We have one more to go, and then we'll go over to the other side. Mm -hmm. And then we'll release that right hand. You can stay wherever it is, we come to the left side. So, bending the elbow, soft or tight fist, 
and the inhale we're drawing back that left shoulder anchor the left hip this is the inhale on the exhale we're punching over towards the right nice and steady and soft keep that left hip anchored don't forget about drawing that left elbow shoulder back in space to get that opening across the chest last one here and then we're going three up and three down so now we're across the body and up again don't forget about drawing that left shoulder and elbow back in space and then we're going to go across the body and down notice where you feel this in your body make any adjustments if you need to we've got that strong steady breath and now we've got three middle top and bottom middle and then we go to the top and then across the body and down and we'll do that two more times you can always rest always adjust the movement to suit your body always working with the body not against it last one mm -hmm. and then we're coming all the way back through center keeping those shoulders a little bit of a wiggle big breath in exhaling it out and then from here we're going to take those feet a little wider so we've got that external rotation ankles more or less under the knees rooting to rise so if you need a little more support sitting back on your chair if you don't need so much support coming forward head over heart shoulders over hips more or less and then we're taking that right arm out on the inhale we're going to reach those fingers up towards the right shoulder maybe they tap maybe they don't exhale palm down inhaling palm up exhaling palm down great place to be that left hand is supporting you on the left leg option to start to move from the shoulder nice and easy in the shoulders elbows wrists fingers and thumbs and the option is to take those fingers up and overhead so now we're getting a little more length on the right side two more here last one and we're coming all the way back down left arm is out bending at the elbow we inhale those fingers up towards the shoulder exhaling down moving as if through molasses and the option is to lift up from the shoulder option is to use that right hand for support if you're getting that longer reach and again bigger isn't better here you get to decide and we've got three more anchor that left hip down as you reach to get that length keep the breath flowing through the movement never holding the breath we've got more or less one more to go and then we're bringing that left hand down nicely done big breath in exhale it out and then from here taking the fingertips to the inside of the legs from the lower ribs we're rolling round and forward that's the inhale we've got an arch in the back that extension and on the exhale we're rolling it round and back almost brushing the back of the ribs with the back of the chair inhaling and exhaling allowing this to be a fully controlled slow movement so we're not throwing ourselves around
Noticing how that feels. Mm -hmm. Getting the shoulders, the head, the neck involved, anything that feels really good here. And then when you're ready, we'll pause at the end of an exhale when you feel right, and then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. This does not have to be a big movement. You're supported by your hands. Notice how this feels for you. Keep the breath moving as you control those circles. And then we'll take another two. And whenever you feel ready, we'll come back through center, rooting to rise. Depending on where you are in your chair, as we get down into the hips, maybe you wanna move a little bit more forward um, for less support or back into the back of the chair for more support. Hand on or towards that right knee, lifting up through the toes or the ball of the foot. So we have one long line from the knee down to the heel. And then on the inhale, keeping that um, knee wide but not forcing. On the exhale, allow that knee to draw in and down without changing the left leg or your torso. So we're inhaling and exhaling, hinging from that ball and socket joint on the right side. What we want is the smooth movement here, getting into the hip joint, creating that synovial fluid as we move, which is lubrication. So the more we move, the easier it is to move. Let's take another couple here. And then staying for that last exhale, and we'll move the knee out. If the foot was lifted, we'll take it down. Any adjustments you need to make as we come to the other side. And again, the foot can be down or toes or the ball of the foot lifted. On the inhale wide, exhale down and in. This hip may feel very different to you. No judgment, just a curiosity. Being gentle on yourself, never forcing. Mm -hmm. Let's take another two. And then we'll take that knee out, foot comes down, readjusting yourself, and then drawing the feet back into center, washing the knees a little side to side. From here, hands come into it, palms, soft fists, or you can interlace the hands and the elbows draw in towards the ribs. And then we figure of eight through the wrist. Keep the breath steady and see if you can keep this movement as smooth as you can. The closer in those elbows are to your ribs, then the more the wrists have to do the work. And if it feels like it's not smooth at all, that's why we're doing it. And then the option is to let those shoulders start to come forward and back a little. Creating that figure of eight a little bigger or not your choice. And then the option is to let those elbows lift a little away from the ribs. And then imagine sweeping the hands side to side in a kind of paddling motion, but keeping the hips anchored. Feet and hips so we get that fluid motion. And you can create that as big and as small as you like, allow it to anchor into the breath. And then we'll bring that back as you bring the shoulders more to center, the heart to center. And then we'll bring those elbows in, pause and take those figure of eights around in the opposite direction. This is normally a little more awkward because we always do our easiest first, easiest direction first. And then let the shoulders start to get involved if that feels good to you. If it doesn't, stay with the shoulders centered. 
And then the option is keeping the hips anchored is to take that movement as big or as small as you'd like. Keep the breath flowing and let's take another couple of breaths. Last couple of breaths here as the elbows come in, the heart faces forward. And then we'll release, release the hands. And then we'll spread those fingers really nice and wide like jazz hands. And then we'll curl them into the tightest fist that feels comfortable for you, lighting up the forearms maybe. And then we'll spread those fingers and thumbs as wide as they possibly can be. And then curl them in. And again, we're getting into all the joints of the fingers and thumbs here. And again, creating that synovial fluid, that lubrication. Let's do one more here with the breath, nice and slow, and then curl it in really slow. Tight fist, and let's hold it for three, but keep breathing. Only as tight as feels good for you. The breath is steady. And then we release nice and slowly, turn the palms down and wiggle the fingers. If you're playing piano, you can roll them all to one side and to the other. Mm -hmm. Getting that movement back in, beautiful. I'm gonna take um, one last movement into the jaw here and then we'll come down to the earth. So when you're ready, and you don't have to say this out loud, but consider the word wow, W-O-W, -W, wow. And we're gonna take that as big as we possibly can on the wah sound, and then we're gonna bring it back in as if we're kind of sucking lemon. So we're getting not only into the jaw, but into the face as well. So on the wah sound, you're gonna take your eyes as big as you can, and you're gonna try and allow the jaw to get as big as you can as you open the mouth. And then when you come back in on that ooh sound, you're gonna draw the lips in towards each other and then screw the face up as if you're trying to block out light. Okay, we're gonna do that three times. And again, you don't have to say it out loud, but sometimes it's nice to release that and we help with our um, voice box as well. So when you're ready, take a big breath in. Exhale it out. Three times. Wow. Two more. Wow. And again, eyes wide as well as the mouth. Last one. Wow. Mm -hmm. And take a big breath now. Exhale it out. And you can do that as many times as you like. It's a really good exercise to do every day, just to get the facial muscles going, but also to keep that jaw nice and relaxed. We know that if we um, put some tension on something and then relax it, then it actually relaxes much more than if we just try and relax it and don't build tension up first. So I'm gonna meet you down on the earth. Bring anything with you that you want. If you wanna bring the earth to you, then lie down on a supported reclined chair or on your bed. Make sure you can hear me, maybe see me, and I'll see you there. So here we are down on the earth. We're gonna come all the way to our back and do a little more movement through the hips, knees, ankles, and feet, and a little bit through the core as well. So let's find ourselves down on the earth, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Maybe pick the pelvis up, sending a little closer towards your heels and make sure you feel pretty much even. And then soften the gaze and close the eyes. Just like when we were beginning in the chair, take your awareness to the support behind you. If with your head at the same height as your shoulders and pelvis, it feels like your neck is straining, please put a folded blanket underneath your head or a firm towel, something like that, so you're supported there. 
roll one shoulder blade and another just softly underneath you so we get this broadness across the collarbone once more. And we'll take a big breath in. Hold at the top. And then exhale like a sigh as you release the body into the earth. Uh -huh. And do that a couple of times. So that breathing in, holding it, and then releasing your body down to be supported. Often we hold tension in our body and we don't even notice it. And then from there, we're going to draw that right knee in. Give it a little hug either side of the thigh underneath the knee or in front of the shin. And then we'll circle that right ankle nice and slow, pointing and flexing the toes at different areas. You might notice that it feels a little clunky in areas. That is okay. We want it to be as slow as possible so we get that control. And then we'll take it around in the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. And then from there, keep a little flex in that ankle, flare the toes and take the hands by the hips in a cactus or a T at shoulder height or even behind the head. And then this is the exhale. Curl the heel in towards the seat and as if the back of the calf really draws in towards the back of the thigh, so it's activating there. And then this is the exhale on the inhale, you're gonna push that foot up towards the ceiling, keep a nice bend in that knee, or push the heel up so the leg is towards straight. And then curl it back and in, and then lengthening with the breath. Mm -hmm. Great place to be right here. You can stay here, or the next time we take that heel up towards the sky, this is now the inhale. On the exhale, keeping the belly button tucked in as if the lower back is imprinted on the mat, I'm gonna take this, slide the heel down with a nice bend in that knee or towards straight to about the same angle that your left thigh is, so about 45 degrees. And then we'll take it up, and then slide it down. We want to keep that core activated and keep the base of the skull, the shoulders down, and the lower back. If you're starting to arch through the back, then don't allow that heel to go down quite as far. Your next option is to slide the heel down a little further. Maybe it even hovers from the floor, from the mat, and we draw it up on the inhale. You can use that left foot when you bring the leg all the way up to push down through the belly and maybe those toes, those right toes come a little closer towards your head, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Next time that foot comes up, we're gonna bend that knee and take the foot over This is the exhale, we're gonna curl that thigh in towards the belly and the heel in towards the seat. On the inhale, we extend, exhale, curling it in. And keep a nice bend in that knee or towards straight, pushing through the heel, your choice, flare the toes. And this is a great place to stay. If you want to add on the next time you send that leg up, this is the inhale on the exhale. Let's lower the heel to about 45 degrees, keeping the belly button drawn in. Lower back is imprinted on the mat, inhaling, drawing it up. You can use that left leg as you draw the heel up to allow those toes to come a little closer towards your nose maybe. Your option is to stay here or with that longer leg, if the lower belly anchors into the earth and the lower back is still anchored, you can take the heel down, almost hovering it over the floor or anywhere in between the ceiling and the floor, but not touching down. 
So we're getting that opening through the hip, but also getting into the back of the hamstrings here. And then the next time that right foot comes up towards the ceiling, we'll keep it there. And then bend the knee, take the foot over the left thigh. We've got a figure four here, pushing the right knee down and away from you and the right ankle into the left thigh. Great place to be and still we're anchoring the lower belly into the mat here. Option to stay here. Option to hover the left foot, allow the hands to come around that left thigh, back of the knee in front of the shin and draw everything in. And now we've got thread the needle. Both feet are flexed gently and the toes flared. Let the legs do the work here. So that left thigh is drawing in towards the right ankle, the right ankle and knee are pushing away. Option to stay here. With the help from the arms, only a little bit though. If you've got any tension through the shoulders, the neck, the jaw, please release that, relaxing the muscles of the face. Or releasing that left leg entirely and here we are in the thread the needle, floating thread the needle. So we're activating the core here and the breath is steady. Any amount of force, the right ankle pushing away with the left thigh, the left thigh meets that force and you're breathing. Let's take another two breaths here. At any stage you can release of course. Then on that last exhale, the left foot comes down. Pushing the left foot in to the floor, shifting the hips to the right. Now you get to choose if there's another twist that you would like, any SI joint issues, you're releasing that right leg, taking the knees and ankles um, parallel. Otherwise, you can stay here in this figure four, shifting the whole shape over towards the left side or crossing that right thigh over the top of the left. We've got bound roots here as we come over. Taking any support you need to underneath the left outer knee, ankle underneath the shin, keeping the right shoulder anchored there and make sure that you can allow the body to soften here. If there's any tension that's building up, then shift and change the shape a little so it feels like you can take a little moment to relax here. Take some steadier breaths through the whole body. And notice if there's any particular area, especially in that right hip, where it feels like tension is building rather than lessening and seeing if you can adjust anything to release that tension there. Mm -hmm. Taking that breath all the way down in through the belly. You can gaze over that right shoulder if that feels good to you. Make any adjustments you need to as you release and relax. When you're ready, the gaze comes to center and then the shape comes to center, release the right foot or the right leg if it was bound, and then shift yourself back into a central place. Left knee draws in here and we give it a little hug. And then we're, same thing, other side. So we're rotating through the ankle. Nice and slow, and then we'll take that round in the opposite direction. What we want here is control, and that builds the strength, the awareness, the more strength and awareness and control we have in the feet and ankles, the more balance we have, of course. Let's spread the toes here, flex the ankle, and then take the hands wherever they're comfortable here. Remember, that the thigh is drawing in towards those left ribs and the heel is drawing in towards the left side of your seat. That's the exhale. On the inhale, let's send that foot up towards the ceiling, nice bent knee or towards straight, pushing through the heel if you want to get a little more into the hamstrings. 
And of course, we're getting that length through the hamstrings, but also that flex and extension through the knee here, also in through the hip. Option to stay here if that feels good. Or when we send the leg up with a bent or straight knee, anchor in through the right foot here. This is the inhale on the exhale. We're sliding that leg down to about a 45 degrees. Draw the belly down into the earth so the lower back is imprinted. Inhaling up through center. Exhaling down and away. Mm -hmm. Use the right foot on those inhales to maybe draw the knees a little, or the toes a little closer towards the head or not. Option is to slide that left heel to anywhere furthest hovering the mat there. Mm -hmm. And then the next time that leg comes up through center, we're going to bend that left knee, take the left ankle over the right thigh. And we've got a figure four here, pushing the ankle and knee away as we anchor in through the lower back into the mat. Great place to stay in a figure four if you want to gather the right foot up into the air, gathering that right thigh in towards you, please do. Hands come wherever they want to. Once again, if you're using your hands here, please let the legs do at least 50 or 60% of the work. So we're not building tension in through the arms, the shoulders, the throat, the jaw, the face, relax everything as you focus on the breath. Let that right knee draw in and the left ankle and knee is pushing away here. So we've got this dynamic tension and the core is drawn in. Option to stay here with that steady breath or send the knees up towards the sky. Right heel about knee height there. And we've got three breaths here. And again, that ankle, left ankle and knee is pushing away. The right knee, thigh is coming back in. And that's as much tension as the breath is stabilized through. And on one of your next exhales, let's take that right foot down. Push into the floor as you shift the hips to the left. Deciding on your twist here, maybe that figure four, the whole thing comes over towards the right side, anchoring with that left shoulder. You can take bound roots as those thighs come towards each other or simply the knees and ankles coming over to the right side. You get to choose, there's no wrong way here. You can take the gaze over that left shoulder if it's anchored, and we breathe. Take the breath all the way down through the belly, through the body. If there's any tension, especially in that left hip, see if you can make any adjustments here to release tension so you can really truly relax here. Allowing tension to drain away down into the earth and away from your body. Be honest with yourself if you're clenching or holding anything here. Let it go, even if that means adjusting the shape. And then you can stay here for as long as you like to release. And when you feel ready, gaze comes to center, that whole shape comes to center. Releasing and bringing the hips back into a neutral place. And from there, just take the feet wide and just washing those knees side to side a little, massaging the lower, uh, lower back, the, across the back of the pelvis. And then when you feel ready from here, maybe the knees come up and in towards each other, constructive rest, great on the lower back. If you want to starfish out or take any other shape for your relaxation, please do. And I will meet you when you are settled in. Take your time.
extra layers, eye pillows, anything that feels really good here, maybe a firm blanket underneath the head and the shoulders. And take a few moments here to really move through your body a little or a lot, just getting rid of any little bits of tension that may have built up through your practice that you haven't already released. Feeling into the support underneath you. Notice all the places that your body is supported underneath you. Take a big breath in. Hold. And then let it go. As you relax, do two more of those. Big breath in, hold, and then release in your own time. Every exhale, allowing your body to deepen into that support. And then we release the breath altogether, so no more control. Notice if you can invite yourself to truly let go here. The more we release, the more you get to integrate your practice on a cellular level in your body. So the next time you come to it, it feels familiar. And we allow the practice to dissolve completely. This is a resetting of everything of our body mind, our emotions, our central nervous system. Allowing the bones to get heavy and the joints to soften and release. Allow all the muscles in your body and the connective tissues to lengthen, loosen and soften. Inviting tension inside to smooth away, relaxing particularly the muscles of your face, your jaw and around your eyes. Every exhale, allow yourself to relax just 1% more. As if you could imprint your body into the support underneath you with all of that releasing. Stay here for as long as it feels good in your body to rest. <clears throat> Without needing to change a thing, go inwards and notice how you're feeling in this moment. Just observing, not judging, being curious. Notice what's on your mind or how your mind feels after your practice. any emotions that are present, feelings. Don't 
as your physical body. Sensations, energy levels, anything else, any other thing that you notice. Starting to notice how the breath and the body move towards each other in this beautiful rhythmic dance in and out, coming and going. Deepening the inhale and then exhaling out like a release, a sigh. Re inhale just a little deeper as if you could breathe from the tips of your toes up towards the crown of your head, infusing your body with energy. And on that exhale, let that energy settle in and integrate. So you start to feel that energy coming in and landing. And you can stay exactly as you are. Or if you wish to awaken your body to move into a different shape to finish up, and start maybe in your fingers and toes or gliding your head from side to side, make it lazy and slow. curl in like a ball or just bring your knees up and wash them from side to side depending on what shape you're in. Take moments as you shift your shape if you're not staying in stillness just to be mindful of the process. And then slowly drawing yourself up or into the shape that you've chosen. And there's no right or wrong. But wherever you are, we settle into the support of the earth underneath us. Lifting up through the heart space. If there is a gesture that you would like to take to finish up your practice, please do. And if not, then stay as you are. As we settle into the support underneath us, take a big, bright breath into the chest. On the exhale, dipping the chin towards your heart space, lowering or closing your eyes, and honoring and thanking yourself for being here, for creating this time to move, to breathe, to pay attention to yourself. Thank you for being here from my heart to yours. Namaste.